everyone and welcome back to the second vlog from China. We are currently in Hongqiu uh, railway station. This is the most amount of people that I've seen in one place in my life. There are just hordes and hordes of people going in every direction, each doing their own thing. It is crazy. I think it shows the, the scale of the population of China. It's mind-blowing. We are leaving Shanghai today and heading to Beijing on a train. I've never traveled by train in China before. Uh, so far the experience has been good. We got through security, passport control, uh, metro, all in the space of about half an hour. We're gonna jump on the train soon, get something to eat and then yeah, enjoy the ride from Shanghai to Beijing. It is crazy cool. It's mind like you just, just see a sea of people. Makes me realize how small Cape Town is. Yeah, definitely. We just had a flat panic. <laughs> about to board the train. The train leaves at 9.52. It's now 9.28. We're standing there too. And we've got the passports out and the coals ticket was missing. Surprise, surprise. Um, which I eventually found it in the passport. But there was a few very hairy moments. We wouldn't say that I've travelled quite a bit because I am extremely disorganised. I lose stuff, I misplace stuff, and Blair is the polar, polar opposite. But this wasn't my fault this way, because the ticket was inside my passport as I left. What are you, A or? B or C. Travel update, we are on the train. I repeat, we have boarded the train. Um, but we're just saying how awesome it is that I've actually not been able to speak a word of the language apart from hello and thank you. That travel in yeah. a foreign country Very easy. when no one speaks English is actually yeah. really easy. But even even still, like I've been in, in places in Europe and stuff where people speak English, and uh, and public transport isn't as, as easy as this. Like the metros here are the yeah. easiest things out. It's this, easier than London. This this train this train was really easy. I mean, they direct you exactly where you need to go. You walk straight on. Yeah. And it's done. No, everything's just streamlined. Um, and super comfy, man. Check how much space we got. And affordable. This train one way is five hundred and. 50 RMB. 50 so it's RMB, a thousand rand. That's 1,000 rand. And for me, I'd much rather sit six hours on a train than have to go to an airport and go through that whole hassle. But it's just cool. I'm looking forward to seeing. Um, no, I can see outside. No. Yeah, I can. We haven't seen outside Shanghai. I'm kind of sick of the city now, although we're going straight into Beijing. Um, but yeah, it should be fun. How's breakfast? Breakfast is good, but you got some breakfast on your chin. <laughs> <laughs> One of the complaints that I have about China is the fact that all of the food is sweetened. So when you think that you're finding something nice and natural like the yogurt, it's just with so much in it. All fruit juice is nice. So anyway, this is a nice break from noodles and dim sum. So I'm not complaining. Like 
of sustenance we have until Beijing. We are about two hours out of Beijing. This train has stopped several times on the way to pick up passengers. So. <laughs> <laughs> yawning in the corner. Beijing Station. Oh, yeah. We've arrived. Welcome to Beijing. Everyone. We have just arrived. The plan of action is to get a public transport card, get that sorted, suss out how the system works because it is slightly different to Shanghai. And then we are checked into an Airbnb for the next four nights. So we need to go find the Airbnb. And um, yeah, stoked to be here, might be. Welcome to Beijing. Are you sure this is Beijing? Yeah, I heard Beijing. Okay, So this is the station we need to get to Dongzi Men. The trouble is it's probably going to be peak hour. Peak hour now. Probably half an hour. Trying to get our local Yikatong card, which is our public transport card for the subway. Wow, oh, that was quick. Two Yikatongs? Yeah. So it's 20, 20 RMB deposits and then 30, uh, Thank you. 30 uh, RMBs worth of travel time. Cool. But so you can go into the, the 20, 20 RMBs. Okay, so line three to Juan Wumu. Okay, then on to blue. Yo. We've arrived at our location. It looks a little bit sketchy, but um, <laughs> this seems to be the trend for Airbnbs in China thus far and inside that. Often not too bad. Is that yes or no? Looks like a no to me. Well, hello, Beijing. Airbnb has always looked much nicer on Airbnb. They do, especially in China. This Airbnb that we're staying in is a little bit sketchy because we try to, when we initially booked it, the person who is managing the booking told us to cancel because there's a problem with water issues. But anyway, we couldn't cancel, so we said, okay, look, if we cancel, we unfortunately gonna have to get a hold of Airbnb to get the full refund. And as soon as we mentioned that, then two seconds later, the water issue was fixed. And then we got another message on our way here that said, <laughs> the police might knock on your door. If they do, don't tell them it's Airbnb, otherwise we'll make you pay a year rental. So something sketchy is going on. <laughs> We're not sure, but a bit of a touch and go Airbnb. Not the cleanest. It's pretty filthy. Um, Case was wouldn't, wouldn't yeah, approve. Mummy would not stay here. But um, unfortunately, we are booked in here until Sunday. So that's the plan. Okay, so we're gonna give you guys a room tour. Should take me T minus one second. Okay, yeah, so man, why not? this is the bathroom. So we've got a shower bath, at least we've got a washing machine because we've got some washing to do. And then we've got a fridge with some questionable fridge magnets. Honk if you've got a badonk donk. 
<laughs> this is the living room and lounge, the bed, and a pretty cool view. I'm going to sign off the vlog for today and pick this up tomorrow where we'll be exploring some more parts of Beijing. Um, so yeah, see you then. Look ahead, the sea is calm and I know we've been through a lot but just wait. Mm, wait for better days to come and carry us like wind in our sails.